The Halo Warthog is one of the most iconic vehicles in video games, and right now you can drive it in two very different ways in two brand new games, Halo Infinite and Forza Horizon 5. So, today we are going to take a look at this legendary Splattermaster's past iterations over the last 20 years. Seriously, when someone says Warthog, what do you think of? Not this ugly thing, you're thinking of this. Oh, I meant this. Halo's ripping itself apart! There are so many fantastic Warthog moments throughout the Halo series, like your first time exploring the silent cartographer, or racing across the bridge in Metropolis to avoid having to fight any bad guys. I mean, they're encouraging you to use the Warthog. It's just over the side, and it changes the whole next gameplay sequence. Because instead of being in the slow Scorpion tank, you are now in the Warthog and can race across before any of the bad guys get triggered by the game code or whatever. I don't know, I'm not a game developer. Now, the control scheme for the Warthog has always been a little unique, and it was not always the easiest thing to drive, but it was always the perfect vehicle for the sandbox shooter that Bungie created. You can't help but laugh when someone hijacks the Warthog you are riding in and then drives it off a cliff in multiplayer. It's great. But let's take our trip through a memory lane now, shall we? In Halo Combat Evolved, i.e. Halo 1, the Warthog was just one more thing that made the game so great. This cave is not a natural formation. Someone built it. I mean, the freaking so second mission is jumping into a Warthog on this strange alien planet ring thing you just crashed on to try and save your scattered marines from the murderous aliens who literally just tried to blow up your ship. Pretty dope. It blew 11-year-old me's mind. Nice. In Halo 2, you drive the Warthog even more with the aforementioned bridge rushing glitch, I guess we call it, and numerous other wild Warthog wonders, cementing it as a gaming star. And then in Halo 3, who could forget this fantastic moment where you can move the hanging wire thing or whatever the f this was. Also, Bungie must have really liked racing this Warthog because the final missions in Halo 1 and 3 are both driving the Warthog through a maze as everything explodes around you. I mean, look at this. In Halo 1, it's like mostly fun jumps, as the Flood kind of jack you up and the Warthog kind of trips over itself sometimes. But in Halo 3, it's kind of a pain in the ass because you have Flood jacking you up and these laser boys jacking you up. And, oh yeah, the alien space structure you are on is exploding beneath you. And it's really not exactly the best handling vehicle for the job. I mean, look at this. But at the same time, I can't think of a better vehicle for the job. Now, Halo Reach gave us probably the best Warthog cutscene, in my opinion anyway, where we have just this huge group of UNSC troops with Warthogs and all kinds of other vehicles charging into the oncoming Covenant attack, and it is just super cool. Halo 4's Warthog was a better, prettier version, but there weren't really any iconic Warthog moments that really stuck out. Yeah, it's better to drive, and it looks prettier, and it was great in multiplayer, forgettable in the campaign. And then there was Halo 5, which was also a game that the Warthog was in. So that leads us to the current iteration of the Warthog that you can now drive in Forza Horizon 5 and Halo Infinite, so let's compare. Now, in Halo Infinite, the Warthog is your primary means of transportation as you explore around the new, somewhat open world of Zeta Halo. It feels much faster and easier to drive than the earlier iterations, but the map itself isn't great for driving the Warthog, and it's kinda easy to drive into something or flip over, which is classic Halo Warthog. And honestly, overall, driving the Warthog Warthog and Halo Infinite's campaign is kind of lame. It's still fun as hell in multiplayer though. If you really want to see what the Halo Warthog can do, you need to drive it in Forza Horizon. Yes, it is just one of the hundreds of cars featured in the game, but it's awesome to see one of your favorite futuristic video game vehicles rendered so beautifully and with its own unique driving style. Forza Horizon 4 even had a special showcase event where you could race the Warthog across Great Britain as Cortana urges you to drive faster and banshees and pelicans fly overhead. This cave is not a natural formation. You can see Halo in the sky and a giant Covenant ship off on the horizon. There's all types of other Halo assets brought into the game. I mean, there's Marines and other Warthogs driving into you in classic Halo fashion. I think it's pretty damn cool, and I highly recommend that you check it out if you never have. Pilot, this would be a very good time to leave. That leads us finally to Forza Horizon 5, where you can drive the Warthog to its full potential without aliens trying to blow you up along the way or flipping it uncontrollably. Well, maybe not that last one. But Forza Horizon 5 is a driving game that wants to focus on the experience of what it would be like behind the wheel. So if you really want to experience driving the Warthog without being in a war zone, then this is it. It feels kind of like a Baja racing truck, but much cooler. Sorry, Baja trucks. Also, can you imagine Playground Games Online if it had a working turret? All in all, the Warthog looks absolutely fantastic in this game, and it's a hoot to drive. So if you are a Halo fan, break out your Spartan racing gloves and give it a try. And if you have Game Pass, you have no excuse. Stay classy and maybe watch another video.